Hello. I hope you're well. You'll remember from last week's session where I talked about how to give respect really to deaf people, especially when there's an interpreter around. Maybe like during the break, not interacting with the interpreter at the exclusion of the deaf person. It's quite a sensitive thing actually to address, but it's just a level of respect that's given to the deaf person. Because you can always talk to the deaf person directly. You don't need to have that conversation with the interpreter around sign language and, and to, to benefit just the understanding of sign language. This is a slightly different topic that I'd like to address today. And I want to look at discrimination uh, regarding a disability, um, but also deafness as well. You know, how one might discriminate against someone who is deaf. Let me explain slightly further. Say you were in a room and you had a deaf person there with you. Say there was an interpreter there um, in the room with you and there were a number of other hearing people. You stepped in, you had a conversation uh, with someone, with a deaf person um, near you. That would be counted as discrimination automatically. You would have a conversation, the deaf person would be left there completely lost because they can't follow what you're saying. Now, what I mean by that is if you had someone who can't sign and someone who can sign, normally you would have an interpreter. And the interpreter therefore would step in and involve the deaf person and say, oh, this hearing person is saying this. And then the deaf person could respond and contribute towards that conversation through the interpreter. So the deaf person is included, which is so important. Now, if the deaf person says, no, no, I'm fine. I don't need to be part of that conversation. You know, I'm quite happy for that to happen. That's, that's their choice. They can take part or they could leave. You know, it's entirely up to do what they want to do. Now, many situations see a deaf person left out. They're not included. So they're often just left there not knowing what's been said around them because everything's been said in speech, which is just really clear. That's discrimination. And so if there was no interpreter available for you and you, it was a hearing environment and the deaf person was there, well, you, how would you then communicate? This might be, say, in a working environment because the deaf person is not always with an interpreter. And so as part of their role, I mean, it's going to depend what they do. But if it was in an office, maybe there may be an interpreter. So the interpreter, therefore, would um, interpret any interaction, say, with a hearing person. So say the hearing person then spoke to the deaf person, the interpreter then would faithfully just relay what was being said. And so the deaf person, therefore, would feel included. But if not, I mean, I, I can give you an example of a situation that I faced once in a room in my working environment. A hearing person came in, I looked up, and they were just talking to my interpreter. And I thought, what's, what's that about? And so I, I thought they'd come in to see me, but they were interacting with my interpreter and not me, which felt strange. But at the end of that, I said, well, what was happening there? And the interpreter had a go at me and said, oh, no, we were having a private conversation. And I said, hang on, this is, this is my office. This is where I work and people are coming in to interact with me. So if they want to have that conversation with you, they can have that elsewhere. Then I'm not involved. And so they, they, they weren't happy uh, by my response, but, but that really hit me that that's, that's the type of case I then had to pass on to an employment tribunal. I, I've used a barrister to represent me. And as I've talked about these issues with the barrister, they've come back to me and said, this is clearly discrimination. There's a lot of cases like this, and there are little little things that I could talk about uh, in relation to this type of issue. But it, it's just really made me think that society at large sees just deaf people treated like this. There's many deaf people that are in the same boat as me. This is automatic discrimination. Now, this isn't about having a go at hearing people. This is about giving you information just to raise awareness that this is a very sensitive situation for deaf people to find themselves in. So just think about how you might communicate with a deaf person if there was no interpreter, you know, by writing things down, just to eliminate that level of discrimination. I hope that's been useful for you. If you want any more information on this, feel free to make contact. Farewell.